Okay, what we're doing here is gold plating. We're going to gold plate this quarter. As you can see, it's just an ordinary Montana state quarter. This right here is our rectifier. And we've got uh, all the chemicals and stuff that we're going to use. And then we've got our 24 karat gold solution. And that's basically real 24 karat gold that's, that's suspended within the solution. And what's going to happen here is with the electrical current, there's going to be a chemical re reaction, which is going to molecularly pull the gold out of the solution and onto the quarter. Uh, this is a this is done on a molecular level, so when done right, uh, once this is finished, that gold will not come off uh, and will be bonded to the quarter. Um, what we're going to do first, we're going to plug in our leads and the the first step that we're going to do is we're going to do uh, we're going to use the chrome stripper now with the chrome stripper the leads are going to be backwards so you're going to have red plugged into black and you're going to have black plugged into red as such and then what we're going to do is take our quarter and we are going to very carefully because we want to scratch it just connect the alligator clip to the quarter okay with the black and then what we're going to do is we're going to use a an anode is what it's called and it's just a plain stainless steel in this case we use a stainless steel screw that's going to connect to the alligator clip as such okay now if you're going to go plate something like stainless steel it's going to use a different activator than the nickel activator. You'll, you'll need to get a special uh, activator for that, which we can get that for you. Um, but in this case, uh, for all the coins that you're going to be doing and stuff, uh, we just need a, a stainless steel. And this, this screw will work perfect for that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn on the rectifier. And it's going to be set at 3 volts. We don't want to go over the 3 volts. And then we're going to place the quarter into the chrome stripper and put that in there as well and we're going to do this for about oh, 12 to 15 seconds and remember to reverse the leads on the chrome stripper okay that's enough and then what we're going to do is we're going to rinse it off with water and do the same thing with our screw it's very important to uh, to do that so each time so we're going to rinse it off with water and then what we're going to do is now after we rinse these off what we're going to do is to switch our leads we want to put the red in the red and the black or it's supposed to go in the black and then we're going to use the nickel activator I'm going to put that in there as such and we're going to do that for about 20 seconds and what this does is it activates the metal and prepares it to be uh, molecularly bonded to the, the 24 karat gold. We don't want to do that really more than 15, 20 seconds. Then we're going to take it out and rinse it off with water again. Okay. And then we're going to use our 24 karat gold. Now this usually takes about 50 seconds. Uh, it depends on the... Now this is something very important which I forgot to mention. You need to make sure that the, before using, you need to make sure that the gold solution is heated. You can heat it in a glass jar if you're careful in a microwave. Uh, this is non-hazmat, -haz so um, you need to heat this. I usually heat it for about, uh, you know, 40 seconds to uh, to a minute. And just make sure 140 degrees is the is a great temperature. Depending on the temperature, it depends on how fast the gold plating occurs. But you need to you need to make sure that's heated up. To keep it heated, uh, what's really good to use is a coffee pot. Uh, you can use a coffee pot and, or like a coffee cup warmer. Now we're going to stick this in there. We just want to make sure that the screws in there as well. You can see it bubbling here. I 
as you can see it is gold plated and it will not come off that's it that's pretty much it